everybody! It's Alice K. Ruckelhaus from Threshold of Hineni, and I'm here for a flip through of my mom's journal. Um, if you missed the craft table talks where I talked about her, there are three of them, and I think it says, um, I don't know, something about my mom. <laughs> I can't remember now what I called them. Anyway, tribute to my mom or something like that. Anyway, I did that while I was making her journal, and it didn't just take those three. I did quite a bit of work off camera, and then I also did a bunch of other table talk chats, or craft table talks. I always forget what I'm calling it. Uh, craft table talks while I was continuing to work on it. So anyway, it is finally done. I finished it last night just as Bill walked in the door from work. So perfect, perfect timing, and I really love it, and so I'm anxious to show it to you all. Okay, so it's just a very simple tie, and I'm showing it to my mom right now too, because she hasn't seen it. She's walking across America, and so I don't see her, and so I'm gonna be mailing this to her. Mom, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this, uh, this lace ribbon through the binding here so that you won't lose it, but if it bothers you, if you would rather just have it like this without a closure, then you can just easily pull it out. Okay, I'm not gonna sew it to it or anything like that. So you can take it off and just have it as a journal like this if you want. But if you put a lot of stuff in it, it'll get fat and it usually helps to have, to be able to close it, to tie it shut. So whatever you want. Okay, so in here, there's a little note card that says thinking of you and I wrote a little note to my mom on it. And then you've got a note card here that is unused, you can journal on it, or you can use it to write a note to somebody. Um, okay, so mom, the thing about junk journals is that you can write everywhere. You're kind of expected to write everywhere. So you can write here, you can write here if you want. Um, I wrote inside the card, so well, you could write here. Uh, you can write all over this, you can write everywhere. Okay, so nothing is sacred, and I've tried to um, I've tried to give you lots and lots of space to write because I know that you like to write a lot. So here's a journaling page and the lace, some of the lace is just plain white. The brown lace is some that I coffee dyed myself and it's um, dyed with Starbucks Pike's Place coffee. That's what Bill drinks right now and so that's what was available for me to dye with. And here's um, another journaling page. This is actually a big envelope and it's got a card inside of it that you can take out and you can journal on the back there. I, this is a coffee dyed sheet that I had put lace on while it was um, drying and so it's got some like lacy effects on it. And you've got a little pull tab to pull it out. Um, I'm, I'm gonna send you a pen with it that I know will write on this just fine too, so you can write on there. And this envelope is plenty roomy to put lots of other stuff in it too. So you can add pages, you can write on some pages and stick them in there, or you can write, like stick sermon notes in from churches that you go to, or maps or whatever you want. So there's a doily here, some fabric, and um, this isn't a pocket or anything, it's just a picture that I thought was really pretty. Um, and a mama wallaby. Uh, and then you've got more journaling page here. Usually I put a lot of pockets and stuff, but because I knew that you like to just write, I didn't do a lot of that. Okay, so this is one of the things that kind of multiplies the space in your journal. You can write here on the front of this, and then on the backs of all of these pages that I've put in, it's just like plain purple or a design or, or something that's faded out so you can write on it. So you've got lots of extra pages there. You've got this, of course, um, with lace edging. Most of the stuff is sewn in. There are a few things that I had to glue in, like the belly bands. This, because you guys, I've been talking about my mom needs a belly band. This is a belly band, okay? It's not something that she wears. <laughs> it goes on the page. It can go horizontally or it can go vertically, and I like to put it vertically usually. Um, this is all like fabric and paper, most of which was used in this journal, and I just sewed it all on here, kind of patchworky with threads hanging out. Oh yeah, there's threads hanging out everywhere because this is shabby chic style. But mom, you're welcome, of course, to trim the threads, but then it won't be shabby chic anymore. <laughs> but you can do that if they bother you. Okay, so I made this little notebook 
with my dad on the front so you can stuff this in your fanny pack or whatever you carry these days and you'll have a little notebook that you can use that will remind you of dad um, I like this picture I think it's really cute um, use this for shopping lists or to write down notes while you're out walking or to have other people write in or you, whatever you want you can do more journaling in it if you want that's fine too okay and then um, some more journaling paper and you'll see these little corner things throughout some of them are up on top and some are down on the bottom they're called Rita, Rita Donnelly flips after Rita Donnelly who made them up and they're a pocket so you can stick something in it like this and that works for holding something in there um, or uh, yeah it's a pocket or you can and not or and you can write on this little space and what I had in mind was that you might use this like if you're journaling about the Bible or prayers or whatever if you want to write a verse here or kind of like the highlight of what you're writing about that's one thing that you could do but of course you're welcome to use it any way that you want it's your journal okay so here's another one of these little flips and you can stick something in there if you want those are a great place for um, business cards that maybe somebody gives you or something um, more journaling space I loved this picture I don't know if you can see it in the camera because I faded it out so that you could write on top of it but it's it's really pretty it's of a woman in someplace in Asia uh, dipping her fingers into the water and there's blossoms all around and it's really pretty and she's in a boat okay so here's another I had a lot of note cards and so I'm I spread quite a few of them throughout this is an, another one of those texts and the note cards mom you can move wherever you want or you can take them out of the journal completely use them to send to somebody or whatever you want you know throw them away give them to somebody on the road <laughs> whatever a lighthouse of course I had to include a lighthouse um, there's dad a pocket with him and inside the pocket is something that you can journal on with a just a pretty picture of a path um, by Jill Wellington she's one of my favorite photographers and I use quite a bit of her stuff um, from a non copyrighted um, website uh, and you can put most of the pockets that I have stuff in are loose enough that you could put more things into them if you want to. And again, you could take this out and put it someplace else if you want also. Might make a nice marker in your Bible if you'd rather have it there instead of in here. Okay, and then here's another one of these. Kind of a book within a book for you to write on and just enjoy. Of course, stones have significance. Okay, and then here, I don't know if you can see this, but this is How Great Thou Art. Um, this is my mom's song, and there's a verse here that I wrote many years ago. My dad wanted a verse about the ocean, so I wrote that. Um, and then this is a pocket. Uh, where's my little card thingy so I can show you? Um, here, I'll just tear off a piece of paper. Okay, so this you know you can write here you can write on this page you can write on all of this and everything but you can also use this as a pocket it goes all the way down in um, but it's only only goes to there okay and then there's another pocket and it goes all the way over here and you can also use this as a little tuck spot here okay and this is a tuck spot let me just get another piece of paper to demonstrate this the whole pocket itself is a tuck spot that you can tuck something into like that okay um, and then here's another one of these little flip areas so you've got a lot of writing space in all of these um, and then this one and I just liked this I think you can write over it with the pen that I'm gonna be sending to you You should be able to write on it but I just thought it was so pretty I love Allium they're so pretty and I just was looking for lots of purple for you because I know that you love purple all right, so there you go. Lots of writing space. Here's a bigger Rita Donnelly flip with more space to write. And then there's this card inside that says, pursue perfection, but accept excellence. And then this is lace that I had gotten many, many years ago, um, back when I was doing homeschool conventions and I was making uh, matzah covers. 
and I thought that these looked like grapes, kind of like bunches of grapes, and so I really liked it. So I got that, and I'm almost out of it, and I love, love, love this lace, but Mom, you deserved it, so you got it. And Chocolate Kisses goes without explanation. Here's Dad's verse, trust in the Lord with all your heart. It's a note card, and it fits in here, and this paper clip has a really pretty bead on it, so that hangs off the side of the page and looks really cool when you close the book. I'll try to remember to show this side of the book so you can see what it looks like. Did that clip? No, I did not clip it on the paper. <laughs> it's always good if you clip it onto the paper. Okay, um, and there's a lightning storm that was all purple. I liked that. Um, another card, I thought this was appropriate here because there was a vase here and you can write in it and on the back of it and another flip so that you can write there um and there's that wallaby mama um i liked her <laughs> i guess because i was doing a mother's day gift so i liked the mama okay so there's some more places to write here's another this is bills in my verse the lord bless you and keep you um, so I thought that was appropriate to put in there. Okay. And I just thought this looked really pretty with the green over there. And you've got another flip here. And of course, you can write on the page and on the card. It's a note card. Um, another Jill Wellington picture. And another Jill Wellington picture. I love her pictures. Okay, and then some more writing space on both of these, and a night sky, and then this cactus that I thought was very pretty. And then here's your five faithful friends. I don't think you can really write on that page, but you probably don't want to anyway. You could make little, you know, quote bubbles and have them say things if you want. And you can let Marilyn know that I had to work hard to get her out of the gutter because she was in the center of the picture, and this would have been right on her face. So I had to chop off part of Carol's arm and and um, crop it just right so that Marilyn would not be in the gutter. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, my mom, I think I mentioned, is walking across the U.S. The first time that she walked across the U.S., Joni went with her. And this is her group of five faithful friends, and they have retreats together, and they're all just really close. And here is Pearl, um, my mom's dog. Oh, this is a pocket. I don't have anything in there. I'll try to remember to put something in, but if I don't, just know it's a pocket. Um, and you can put anything you want in there. Uh, some more Jill Wellington. And this one's a, oh, it is a card. I thought it was a postcard. Okay, so this is a note card also. This says, all your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Mom, I think you have definitely pursued your dreams. And here's another flip to write in. This I just thought was a pretty page for writing on. And here's another of these things that I showed you where you have the pockets and then a tender text spot. And this whole thing is a text spot. So you could stick something in like that. Maybe like a church bulletin or something if you wanted to. Um, or more paper. You can always put more paper in any of these pockets and stuff. Okay, now I didn't really do a lot of pockets, but this pocket, this is a page from my first novel Beauty for Ashes, which is no longer in print, so I printed a turtle on it and I put that in here for you. And it has a pocket this direction, and then it also has a pocket this direction, okay? More writing space and another note card that you can write on, and another flip. And this is actually the inside of this note card, but it's it's really cute because it says meow, meow are you, but I just didn't feel like that, even though it was purple, I didn't feel like it fit with the journal. So I turned it wrong side out so that you have just a plain, <laughs> a plain purple card. And you've got another flip here, some more writing space. This might be a little bit too dark to write on, but you can glue pictures there or whatever. That's another thing that you can do all throughout this. You can glue pictures in if you want or paper clip them in or staple them or whatever. Um, and then some more writing space. 
And then here's another one of these little flip books where you can write in a rose. You can write on all this and some more writing space and another uh, card that says a friend loves at all times. So you can write in there and another little paper clip with a bead that will be hanging off the side of the page. There we go. And there's the other side of that alien that I liked so much. And a bouquet of purple tulips. And here's another song that my mom really likes, which is Channels Only. So I've got that all typed up here for you. And another one of these little flip books that you can write in. So it gives you lots of extra pages. I have no idea how many pages you have all together here. And then here's Aunt Lois when you and Aunt Gail flew in to surprise her. And another one of these cards. So you can right on that and tuck it in here and um, and you can tuck other things in with it or take that out and just tuck other things in there or whatever you want to do um, and another space with flip pages for you there and then this flip page flip book page area whatever you want to call it um, I thought, oh yeah I think this might be the same place I'm not sure <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm not sure, but I thought that was funny that they ended up across from each other because I didn't really plan that. And then here's another flip and another note card and space to write and another belly band with another little notebook in it. They don't have very many pages. I think they have like seven to ten pages because that's all that my sewing machine could handle. I sewed these closed. So anyway, and a belly band in case I didn't mention that again. Um, and, and you can write on the page, you know, here beside on both sides of the belly band too. No reason not to do that. And you don't have to put the booklets back in here either. You can, you know, like I said, use them for grocery shopping or whatever. Um, more journaling space, more journaling space. And here's another pocket so this whole thing here is like a big envelope okay and more of my coffee dyed paper with the right uh, the lace on it and it smells really good you can smell the coffee um, okay. and then just a cute little scene there by it and some more flowers more places to write and then um, you have this little card here that you can write on. It says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And then there's another, and this, this pocket, you really could put a lot of stuff in. There's a lot of space in there. And same thing with this pocket, this big pocket, you can put in maps or whatever you want. There's lots of space in that. And then I made two more little booklets for you that you can, oh, three more little booklets that you can do whatever you want with. Um, they all have paper that you can write on front and back. <clears throat> this one has How Great Thou Art, this one has Channels Only, and this one, I just liked that picture. I thought it was really pretty and made a nice notebook. So there you go. Okay, I love you, and that's it. And um, this, this, for anybody that's watching, this journal was custom made for my mom, um, and every journal that I make is individual. It's different from any other. So. You know, I can't make another one exactly like this, but if you'd like something similar without the pictures of my dad or my mom's five, five friends and probably different note cards, but if you want something similar, just talk to me and I'm happy to do it. I love making journals for specific people and, you know, like finding out what they like and what's going on in their life and trying to, um, I don't know, just, you know, go along with that. Okay, so that's that. And mom, I'm going to send this to you when you're on the road again. I think you guys are on the road, but I may wait and send it with dad's Father's Day gifts so that you guys get them both at the same time, but I'm not sure. I may send it before then. 
I love you. Let me know what your address is, where you are. <laughs> I think you're going to be in Indiana soon. All right, I love you. Bye-bye.